I want to show you a world downloader tool that is easy to install, works on all operating systems and it has no dependencies on the client side. So you can use that world downloader on an unmodified vanilla client without any installation problems. You can slap that on any client, even if you have a heavily modified custom client. Um, this tool is independent from the client. So I really like that concept and it works quite well. It's still in early development, but it gets the basic world downloading job um, done quite well, in my opinion. Okay, so let's get started downloading the tool. Um, go to github.com slash microcroon slash minecraft dash world dash downloader. Uh, the link to this repository will be, of course, in the description. All right, so um, here you can download the tool and the releases. Um, you can, um, yeah, download that by clicking it and then, yeah, you know how to download a file, right? Um, so let's not do that. Um, as you can see in the README, we have um, a graphical user interface and it works for these versions currently. Um, so, um, yeah, the other way on, uh, of getting it on a Linux system is this wget command. I already have it uh, downloaded, so um, head to a terminal in the directory where you have downloaded the file. Um, on Windows, it should work the same. You just open a command prompt wherever you downloaded the file. It's probably in your downloads folder. You uh, shift right click and then you open a command prompt. Right, um, so then you type in Java dash jar and then world downloader. So this is the, uh, the command to start this um, Java executable and then it needs some parameters. So you can see all of them in here. Um, the only one that is required is the server. So this is the server where we want to download the, um, the word file from. Um, make sure you have permission to do that. Some server owners might disagree um, with you downloading the word file. So um, yeah, make sure that um, that works. All right, so in my case, um, since it's still in early development, I have to specify my Minecraft directory if you're on Windows, you do not have to do that. The default is quite um, quite okay there on Linux as well. But yeah, it's still early development. So yeah, that might be um, good. Uh, especially if you're on Mac OS, you probably want to put in your um, Minecraft path there. I forgot what it was on Mac OS. It's users and then user and then library. I don't know application support. You know what directory I'm talking about. If I if you're on um, Mac OS, I think, right? Okay, so um, let me leave my um, what my Minecraft directory in here. Okay, so now that we started this tool, you can see this pop-up um, graphical uh, window here, and it's starting a proxy for lgl.zillihun.com. Make sure to connect to localhost at a Minecraft port two five five six five. Um, all right, so now instead of connecting to lgl.zillihun.com, we connect to localhost. And this tool will connect to the Minecraft server, and we are going to connect to this tool, so all the traffic is routed uh, through this world downloader tool, and this is where it gets its data from. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, we are on the same server as we were before. We are actually on this online server, but we are yeah connecting through a proxy. So um, if we do that side by side, we can um, see that we already downloaded some word file here. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, now we can, yeah, fly around here and load some some parts of the world. And then we can we can see the progress on the on the left side. Right. Cool. So um, if you wonder where this uh, word file gets saved to, it is in the current directory. Um, it will create a word um, directory in the, yeah, wherever you are. Um, and you can just move that into your Minecraft uh, folder, into your word files, and then you can, um, yeah, 
view the world file. Right, um, that's basically it. So um, thanks for watching.